So, one of the first things that we want to do before we get to the scanner is we want to make sure that, uh, especially in the winter time, because people tend to have dry hands, we want to use uh, preferably something like uh, corn huskers lotion uh, or uh, hand sanitizer, but if you have nothing else, uh, wet wipes, wet ones will do just fine. Now, an important thing to point out is the scanner. If you notice this metal bar along the bottom edge of the scanner, the fingers have to be in good contact with this. Dry skin will not conduct as well as moistened skin. Now in the wintertime, people's skin gets dry when the air's drier. So you want to not use a lot, but just a dab to, keep, to uh, uh, moisten up their hands. So what I'm going to do here real quick is I'm just going to wipe down my fingers. You want to be sure when you do this, not just to get the fingertips, you also want to get all the way down to the interdigital where it connects to the palm of the person's hand. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe my fingers down here, all the way down to that interdigital area. Because this is going to be the part of the hand here that's going to make contact with this metal strip. Now, you don't want their hands to be real wet, so make sure you work it in real good. If it's too wet, you're going to get really dark and unusable fingerprints. So, now that we're ready to capture fingerprints, we're going to go ahead and start. Now, Clue is going to put a green dot on the fingers that it wants when it wants them. So, in this case, it wants the two thumbs. The easiest way to do this is to have the applicant put their hands together with their thumbs together, wrap their other fingers around the edge, start out in contact with the metal edge of the scanner, and then simply roll forward. Now the images will come up, and as soon as you get green squares, it'll capture the image. Same thing with the hand, start at about a 15, 20 degree angle, make sure that the hand is in contact with the bar, and then just roll forward. Now you may not always have to use the other hand, but it's a good idea just to get a little extra pressure. If the images are too dark, just let up pressure with the opposite hand. Same thing with the left. Okay, once you've got the plane images, now it's time to do the rolled images. You're starting with the right thumb, you're going to do the same thing. Put the person's thumb right before it connects to the palm against the edge of the platen. Roll forward. What you want to do, we'll wait for our preview image here. Okay, what you want to do is you want to try and get this core right here as centered in the platen as you can near this circle. Once you've got it, you're going to rock off to one direction or the other, and you're going to roll back the opposite direction. As soon as the image gets, as soon as the scanner gets an image it likes, it's going to auto capture. Uh, over time, you will become familiar with where on the surface of the platen it wants the finger. So notice my fingertip is about the middle of the platen. So we're going to rock off, roll back. Now if you notice, as long as I keep rolling, I can keep capturing images. Once I stop, it's going to capture the image. Same thing for each finger. Again, start out in contact with the metal bar, and then roll onto the scanner, and then as long as you keep going back and forth. Now if you notice, my image has gotten kind of light there. It still accepted it, but sometimes people's skin will dry out during the process and you need to go ahead and put a little bit more on there. Uh, some people like me with really dry skin will have a problem. But again, work it in real good. 
Now the pinky and the ring fingers are always hard. So there's our ring. Okay. Now when you're done, sometimes the scanner might capture it for you, but if you're done, if you've got an image on the screen that you think looks good enough, just lift your finger. If it's good enough, it'll capture. Now what I'm talking about here is particularly on the thumbs, if you get a really wide image like a person's thumb, the scanner may actually auto capture it for you without lifting the finger. But as long as your finger is in contact and you keep it moving back and forth, you can continue capturing images until you get one that you're happy with. As I said, pinkies and ring fingers are always bad. Okay, that image wasn't good enough, so it didn't capture it. Okay, that one was. Now, let's say, for instance, that you have an image that you didn't like. Let's take the right middle finger here. It just doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to Capture, I'm going to go to Roll. Now it will allow me to re-roll that right middle finger. And that image looks much better. And that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and stop.